My mic was muted. Good thing I didn't need to react to anything like the weekly bingo card. Ugh. Whatever. Hi, it's me. Time for bowling. Also got a new outfit. No longer spooky theme. Now just everyday clown theme. It's totally different. So now we just got the cool collection. Got a bunch of cool cats. Looks like we can maybe get a Mommy Me Tanaka. Tanaka. Mommy Me. Mommy. What's her last? Wait, yeah, it is Tanaka. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mommy Me Tanaka cosplay up in this hizzy is what we could get. If I get those items so I know what we'll be wearing next time, which will be fun. But this is definitely going to be a one hour bowling stream because uh, some very annoying construction people are here today. Of course, the one time. Now that I finally got my maintenance thing out of the way, now someone else is getting their maintenance done. <laughs> and it's causing a ruckus. How lovely. Yeah, we're in the final five for bowling streams, which is really exciting. So, we're coming down to the wire. This is the final full month of bowling. Also, we're in November! What the fruit? How? When? Where did it go? Where did anything go? Might not be related to Mr. Tanaka and his TV shopping media empire. <laughs> Surely not. But also, welcome to the stream night, Jade. Hope you're doing well. I'm just waiting for the top of the hour as usual. We only got one minute to go this time. I started out a little bit late. I wasn't sure if I was going to stream today. This one, this stream will most definitely just be an hour because I don't want to push it with the construction noise that's happening. Also, if we don't get the multiplier. Uh, I want to test it, though. Like, for the past two streams in a row, we've gotten the multiplier at noon on a Thursday. So does that mean that there is a schedule as to when certain sports have multipliers? And if that's the case, does anyone have documentation of every time it happens for bowling? A little too late for that info, I know, but... Still would be nice. I actually turned the game on yes, either yesterday or the day before, and there was a times three multiplier on every sport, but it didn't matter because I already had all the items in the bingo card, so couldn't start our stream then. But oh well. And yep, sure enough, more bowling multiplier. Okay. So now I'm going to be tempted to go for over an hour because I'm going to get close to completing the bingo card. Oy vey. Mediocre legend. Former so-called. <laughs> now the real dilemma begins where I have to start worrying about whether or not I could get all the cool outfits worn before the end of the stream, even though we will have a fashion showcase at the end of this series. Just trying to come up with cool outfits. I was somewhat tempted to wear my me or have my me be the character of the day today just because bob has been seeing some love this weekend or this past weekend Let's go. and that was just exciting it was the most love bob's ever gotten in his entire life <laughs> for those who don't know uh last week we had not we but the royal we uh there was the uh stephen george stephen and mal empire george corp and friends and knuckles Charity stream for Extra Life, their local children's hospital. They raised a hundred and thirteen thousand dollars, plus six hundred dollars. So that was very awesome of them, and they were playing through games in the GameCube, Wii, and Wii U library. I'm pretty sure there were only like two Wii U games that popped up. Or wait, no, there was three. There were three Wii U games that popped up throughout the entire event, and one of them was Splatoon. And the interesting thing about that is that this is going to be the last Extra Life event where Splatoon could actually be of played online because the 3ds and wii u online servers are going to be shut down uh, i think spring of next year so yeah it's like a complete end of the end of an era so they really wanted to show off uh, multiplayer while they still could and uh as fate would have it not a whole lot of people were playing splatoon for wii u in the middle of the night on saturday so they had trouble getting into getting a full group of people to actually play online in the first place so, there needed to be a hero to rise to the occasion, and who better to serve as the savior of all mankind than BOB! 
those who don't know Bob, there's a video on my channel called The Bob. Uh, you can look up to learn more about him. But basically, he's been my mascot for every Nintendo console that involves Miis. And I do have a Bob Me uh, set up for Switch Sports because I needed to have a partner for, like, to get the friendship t-shirts. Uh, the one that has, like, half a heart that you can wear with someone else. Almost as if there was a reason for, uh, for, for those services to go down. I mean, I get why, but also when you're a multi-gajillion dollar corporate entity, it's just a drop in the bucket for you. You could still do it just to make a couple people happy. No reason for that. No reason to, like, shut it down just because. <laughs> I don't know. But I get it. But yeah, it was just really exciting that, like, I just happened to have my Wii U plugged in. And this is the funny thing. My Wii U is uh, currently always plugged in, but it's plugged into a wall that doesn't have a TV near it. <laughs> so I just turn it on whenever I need to, like, use the gamepad for something. Like, either handheld stuff or uh, if I just need to download a thing currently. But uh, what was funny is that I went into it thinking that I could just play Splatoon on the gamepad. And maybe you can, and I just didn't figure it out, but... When I went into it, only the map, the overhead map, was on the gamepad. And it just gives you a rough idea as to where you are on the battlefield. So I just had like a generic map shape with some ink splattered around it. And my icon was represented by just a squid. So, yeah, it was very interesting. <laughs> like, and I won was a weird thing. Like, the first game I played with them, I won. I'm going to 100% assume it was because of them, but... I don't know if I, I actually haven't watched the VOD back, but I doubt I actually splatted anyone during that game. <laughs> but it would have been really interesting if I actually took someone out when I literally could not see anything. That was very funny. I'm glad I was able to help out. And now everyone just thinks that my name is Bob, which is perfectly fine by me because nobody could spell Jeffrey to save their life. <laughs> At best, they ignore until they get a year where their incomes ain't that great, so they send the budget inquisition to find all the costs that could be cut. Yeah, I guess that's uh, what led to the whole Nintendo versus YouTube thing, because it was during the Wii U era, and they weren't doing so hot. So they needed a little extra cash or something. For instance, us last year. How relatable. How topical. How hard is it to spell Jeffrey? I don't know. I actually have a list somewhere. I have an actual written down list of every single way my name has been misspelled. Or every single time my name has just... I've got... Someone gave me the wrong name. Also, hello Aki and hello Gold Ultimate. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're both doing well. I've gotten so many things. Like, I've gotten the G Jeffries. I've gotten the 1F Jeffrey. I've gotten the IE Jeffrey. The E-R-I-E I've gotten. Then, like, every single J name imaginable. I don't know if it's just me, if I'm just a very forgettable person, <laughs> or if Jeffrey's just like the hardest name in the world to, to remember. Also, no one in the world is able to remember. Like, when they when I meet a new person, they're like, do you go by Jeff or Jeffrey? And then I say Jeffrey, and then they just don't remember. So they just call me Jeff. So I got it got to a point where I was just like, it doesn't matter, just whatever you want. They're like, it's not about what I want, it's about what you want. And then I say Jeffrey, and then they just go to Jeff anyway. I'm just like, okay, so clearly, <laughs> clearly it never mattered to begin with, and I've been through this before, which is why I said that in the first place. But no, it's my fault for not being assertive enough with my own name. Sure. Anyway, <laughs> I've gotten Jimmy, I've gotten Jeremy, I've gotten Johnny, I've gotten Jared, I've gotten Gregory, I've gotten Zachary, I've gotten Luigi. From someone who didn't even know I liked video games, they just thought my name was Luigi. It's fun. I think I've even gotten a Jenny before, <laughs> which is great. Uh... Well, I'm not cool enough to be Zeph. Only one, only one man is cool enough to have that name. <laughs> Hooray! So yeah, how's everyone doing? We, uh, we made it past Halloween. We're in November. Anyone have any fun stories to share? I don't have any fun stories to share. Absolutely nothing happened on Halloween for old midnight. Absolutely nothing at all. If you're wondering where that VOD was, I decided to delete it because I... Woo! That was really good. Um, because I just decided to play a song at the end of the VOD out of sheer insanity. 
and I was a little bit worried about that getting flagged for copyright, so I just decided to delete the VOD, and also, uh, we didn't accomplish anything in that stream. <laughs> we had a lot of nice conversations, which I appreciate, but I just wanted to be safe and sorry. Uh, for those who completely missed it, um, I streamed my attempt at doing Luigi's Mansion 10%, and I don't just mean beat the game with as little money as possible. I was also trying to glitch through Chauncey's room to get uh, down to the basement in Area 1 so I could fight the final boss right at the beginning of the game. And it took three hours and I couldn't do it, so maybe next year. Stream Castlevania on Halloween, the two hours in the game crashed on stage 15. Uh-oh. Hope there was a save feature. Well, you gotta do a Halloween stream during the night, because that's the spookiest time of the day. Because it's not even the day, it's the night. <laughs> sure was and I didn't use it can we also talk about I'm having a similar experience with Super Mario Bros wonder which I'm playing through right now don't tell Chris um, but the save feature in that game I know switch has auto save but like there's also no option to save in game so I'm always going to be doing it but like does anyone else have the problem when you hit save in Mario wonder and then the text pops up on the there's two icons on the left it says back and on the right it says okay and then it says like do you want to save and my mind defaults it to like, well, the left option is the yes option because it's yes and no, right? So I always go back, go over to the left and hit the left button thinking that's confirming the save. But no, it's backing out of the save. <laughs> so I end up like accidentally not saving a lot. But I always catch it at the last second so I haven't lost any data yet. Ooh. Rough. At least we made it to the final three. This was a quick game. How are we already here? That was super quick. You got this guy with his bowling tee. Uh, the other guy, I think, has the golden bowling shirt? No, he doesn't. He just has a fancy suit. Uh, the outfit I'm wearing, the suit is actually from the Easter bingo card. It's supposed to be like the Easter Bunny outfit, but it also works as a clown outfit, which I appreciate. Amazing. Jenny? The Jenny? The one and only Jenny? My Jenny? Must have joined the next game also. Hello. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so happy you're here. Welcome to the stream. For those who don't know, Jenny is my first ever friend that I made on the internet. The day I made my YouTube account, I, uh... Started talking to her, and we've been friends ever since, which is amazing. Thank you so much for being here. But yeah, if you have the game and you could somehow uh, get matched up with me, then we'd love to see ya. We'd also uh, love to see ya kick my butt, because that'd be funny. And also, like I said before, the cool thing about this game, you don't need to win or lose. You just need to participate and you get the points added to your little bingo card. So everyone's a winner. Uh, nope. <laughs> I don't have a wrist strap. Don't tell anyone. I'm breaking the rules of Nintendo. But yeah, but more importantly than Halloween is the day after Halloween, which is half price candy day. Let's see, do we see any Jennies in here? Uh, doesn't look like it. Just like Fall Guys. Yeah, but you gotta get at least one win in Fall Guys just so you can feel good about yourself. As soon as I got my first one, I never played it again. <laughs> I like the games, just that like, A, I don't like playing games on Steam, and B, uh, when playing the console version, it's like, you gotta make an account on a website. I'm just like, ugh. Oy vey. So yeah, yesterday was half price candy day at your local pharmacies. Did anyone get anything good? I got some very stale uh, chocolate bars. I don't know why they taste stale. I guess I went for the cheapest one possible that didn't have any uh, specific branding on it. It was just a bag of chocolates. <laughs> very questionable. But yeah, it tasted about as good as you would expect. I also got some M&Ms because those are always uh, in the clearance section because they always have so stinking many of them. 
The sports crashed? Oh no. Wait, quality celebrity T Swift. Taylor Swift's in the house. Can you believe it? It's always fun to see who will pop up. And I'm sorry to say that I didn't find any arrow bars. I know we were talking about that on Banner Buddies. But I tried looking for them. They couldn't. Uh, they weren't there. There was this weird dude there. I'm not going to go into incredible detail about what he's been doing. But for the past two times I went grocery shopping. I've seen him there. And he's like parading around and uh, blasting stuff on a radio and yelling and saying he's like i'll be here every day i'll be here every day so so that was something and then the security doesn't really seem to care they're just like well he's not knocking anything over so i guess i could just allow it i'm like can you not though It'd be cool if you didn't allow him in here because he's annoying Give it our all. I also very much love the pigtails. They're so floofy. Also, apologies if these aren't pigtails. The twin tails, the pigtails, the floofy tails. I'm very proud of the of the outfit I picked out. Also, we got the rosy cheeks because you gotta have a rosy cheek. Uh, look if you're donning the clown makeup. <laughs> Security guards surprisingly have little power. Like an insecurity guard, am I right? <laughs> so my goal for this month aside from doing the switch sports thing uh this would probably be the best time to announce it uh we, we got more time though there's going to be a stream next week if i if my math is correct i think next friday uh, that is going to be rather special. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, remember before I was like talking about Idol Master every single day, there was another game I was talking about every single day and it was Code of Princess. It's a very uh, under the bridge, under the radar, no name game from the 3DS that I was very obsessed with back in the day. And then it got released on the Switch and I lost my stinking mind. And that game has a bunch of bonus quests and bonus missions that you could do. And I've wanted to do them for a really long thing of time. I streamed some of them back when I did the LP and it was rough <laughs> because uh, they make a change between the Switch version and the 3DS version where 3DS version you could customize your character's stats to be whatever you want when they level up. But in Switch it's more streamlined so you can see that as a good thing or a bad thing but the characters have like so more set in stone stats and it can be a bit more difficult to work with and also the most powerful equipable item in that game that gives you like maxed out uh, power for a short period of time it used to have an ability in the 3ds version where well it still has the ability where you could when you activate it it stuns everyone on the field and damages them but you can also turn it off whenever you want so you could just like turn on off on off on off to damage them and stun them over and over but in the switch version they took away the ability to turn it off to so it's nerfed a little bit and i used that a lot to uh, survive the hardest of missions in that game so i know there are four missions i have left in the main mode but also there are entirely exclusive sets of missions that are available in co-op mode which i've never done because no one else on the entire planet plays this game except for one person <laughs> one person and one person alone my friend rex doler so the two of us are going to be teaming up next week on friday to play the co-op missions of Koto princess and rex is going to be carrying i'll say that much because i have not played the game since i did that initial stream I have no idea how it's going to go. We're going to just try as best as we can to get as many of the missions done. And that's going to be it. It's just going to be a one-off stream. If I somehow end up becoming good at the game, then maybe I'll wrap up all the missions in the regular mode that I hadn't done yet. But I highly doubt it. I am very rusty and I'm going to get my butt kicked so stinking easily. So, yeah. We're just gonna, we're going to do our best, though. It's something that I've, we wanted to do for a very long thing in time and... Rex has been incredibly patient with me, but I'm really happy that we're finally going to be able to do this. 
So I hope you all look forward to that. It's going to be on next Friday. I don't know what time yet, though. I'll have to figure that out. And I'll be sure to remind you all again next stream as well. Was the person straight up a danger or something? Or is committing a crime? Security guards can't do anything on the person. Otherwise, they get charged if the person decides to sue. That's poopy, but isn't it like... If it's their establishment, don't they have the right to like refuse service to anyone that they deem to be problematic or a nuisance or whatever? And like, wouldn't it theoretically be a good idea to stop someone from doing a bad thing instead of waiting until they do it and face the consequences of after of whatever happens afterwards? I don't know. I just work here. Burda! What round is this, by the way? It's round two. And we're still in the green, somewhat. Let's see if we can get another cool split conversion. Not quite. But so long as we're still in the green, we'll be good to go. Looks like we will be. Also, Nightshade had mentioned that Fashion Dreamer comes out tomorrow, as well as WarioWare Move It. The game releases just do not end. I kind of sort of want to do a Fashion Dreamer stream. I feel like I should wait until S Switch Sports is over, because we can only have so much fashion all at once. But if you don't stream something day one, then what's even the point? According to modern day society, I... Uh, there was a part of me that wanted to stream all of Mario Wonder when it released, but I was just like, oh, wait for the Viznos, and then I grew impatient. And then I also remembered Mario RPG and Persona 5 Tactica come out next month, so I'm just like, okay, I gotta beat Mario Wonder now or else it'll never happen. Even though I'm literally doing it with people for a recording session. It's fine, we're all doing our, our best. Doing as best as we can. Still need to finish Pikmin 4. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, if I hadn't played through Pikmin 4 on my own, if I was, like, still doing it with Chris and, like, experience for the first time, it's rough. Like, I feel like I... Even though, like, we're having such long breaks between the games where we're not playing it, I feel like... I feel so pikmin out at this point. So, like, my, my, my steam is running dry, if that makes sense, if that's even the correct analogy for it. You'd think it would be more exhausting to just do everything right from the get-go and uh, do it in one sitting, but I don't know. It just sort of it feels a bit rough to have it last for this long, and I know that's been, like, a very big discussion topic of Visno Incorporated recently of just like what can we change to make things more enjoyable for us and for the viewers. The worst part is that like there's not really a good place to turn to for inspiration for that sort of thing because no one else does what Visnomatic does so it's hard to compare it to anything else and hard to look to see what could be done better because the changes we can make would require us to make Visnomatic no longer Visnomatic which is the biggest concern is like would we end up liking that change or not? Or would we lose sight of our vision, who we are, and who we want it to be? Finish. I feel like we should, at the very least, be allowed to try certain things. This outfit's so cute, I love it so much. We should be allowed to try certain things. And just, uh, expect things to not go perfectly according to plan, but also just be okay with that. It's all a work in progress. Uh, we got the chin beard. Sure. <laughs> and we got ourselves a new sword! The cool sword! We beat Tate and Liza in Alpha Sapphire this morning. There's a part of me that wants to go back to replay Alpha Sapphire because... 
Um, I always had a tendency where I would only use my original teams in every Pokemon playthrough. So my first time playing Alpha Sapphire, I used my team from Emerald. And then I needed to play through Alpha Sapphire again because I needed to have access to the Delta episode because I wanted to show that off uh, in an L after I finished the main story of my Let's Play of Emerald. And then I used my original team for that just so I had the teams consistent between the two playthroughs. So I played through Alpha Sapphire twice already and both with the exact same teams. And I kind of want to go through it again just so I could have an original team, but then that would require me to play Alpha Sapphire a third time. <laughs> so, oy vey. But I'm wondering with like with how chill that game is and just like how how much easier it is compared to the other ones Maybe it wouldn't be so bad if I was like rushing through things not trying to read anything It was just like assemble the team and go 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 But who no no knows Here we go ba -da -ba. Yeah, I had a lot more fun in uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl when I had, when I finally made the decision to just assemble a team of whoever the fruit I want. But mainly because I couldn't even access my Platinum team in Diamond and Pearl. I don't even think I had a consistent team when I first played Pearl. Because I was still in that era of just like, I just use my starter Pokemon for everything. But I also don't evolve my starter, so everything's very difficult. Okay, we'll go from this angle, even though I really want to do it from the other angle. Oi! That's rough. The Jim Lee and the Jim Durr. <laughs> Ancient Ark, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. And also, thanks for all the support for yesterday's stream. It was very fun talking to you. And also, thank you so much for uh, yesterday's gift sub. And the raid. You are doing a lot uh, yesterday. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate that you're here today as well. We're just you're doing our bowling hour uh, while the construction crew is presumably on lunch break. And hopefully they'll take an extended break so we can get stuff done. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, I have an idea in my notes of what team I would want to use in Alpha Sapphire if I made an original team, and uh, Ludicolo was one of them, but there's, like, one water stone in the entire game. And it's, like, near the end of the game, so that's a that's an issue. Remember in Fire Red and Leaf Green and Red and Blue, you just buy evolutionary stones at the store? Luigi Mansion was two days ago? Oh god, November's going by so quickly. Where are we? Spare. Yes, I meant I meant the day before. Oi. Like technically it hasn't been it hasn't been two days since the last stream, so I'm sorta of correct. Maybe. Cause I had a stream at night time. I just noticed what one of the names was. God darn it, people. You gotta be family friendly in Nintendo Land. We'll just ignore it. Which I'm doing a very bad job of because I literally just acknowledged it. I probably wouldn't have seen it if I didn't say anything. So nice. Also, another reason why I'm playing Mario Wonder on my own is so I can actually play as Daisy. It's been super great. I've, I'm loving Daisy's new voice actor. She's just like so high spirited and everything. And um, every time Daisy says, "Oh, nice," or "How?" or "So nice," it was so nice. <laughs> it just makes me happy. 
put myself through a challenge and getting three stars on every cup of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'm already on 150cc. Best of luck to you. Um, I've also been doing that. I've got I got three stars on every cup currently that's currently released. So I was thinking that maybe for the final cup I would stream that one just to show the completion of getting three stars and everything. Because I I've 100% of other Mario Kart games, but uh, they don't all require you to get three stars. And like this one doesn't require it either, but. Um, this will be the first time I think that I've gotten three stars and everything. Like I definitely didn't bother with eight with Mario Kart 8. I don't know. It'd be, fun, it'd be a fun thing to check out. If you really want to challenge yourself, you go back to Mario Kart Wii, which is just insanely difficult. <laughs> that's like, I feel like that's the only appropriate game to say is the Dark Souls of something because it is without question the Dark Souls of Mario Kart. It is rough, so stinking rough. <laughs> Also, Mario Kart 8, DK Mountain's back, baby! Can you believe it? I'm so stinking happy. I'm so happy. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. That was my number one track on the wish list ever since they announced the expansion pass. And we finally get it right at the end. I'm so happy. Oh my god, it's so good. So stinking good. There were only like a couple extra courses that like... I wanted like the Maka Woohoo and Woohoo Isles, the like Switch Sports, the Nintendo Wii Sports Resort, that's the word. Wii Sports Resort themed tracks in Mario Kart 7, I really like those. Uh, neither of them wound up in 8 Deluxe, but like, it's fine, it's fine. We got 96 tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I should have said it a long time ago, like I was always uh, resistant on saying that 8 Deluxe had the best roster because there's so much filler in the roster, like all the Koopa lanes. And the Cat Peach, and the Gold Peach, and the Raccoon Tanuki Mario. A whole lot of clones, a whole lot of babies and stuff. So I always say that, I would always say that um, Mario Kart Wii is the best roster in a Mario Kart game. And for the longest time, like, I still felt that because there was such a prominent part of Mario history, the Mario franchise that was missing from 8 Deluxe, which was the Kongs. There was only Donkey Kong for the entirety of Mario Kart 8 and 8 Deluxe, but now Finally, we're getting Diddy Con and Funky Con. I have no idea how it took so stinking long, but they're finally here, so it's indisputable. 8 Deluxe is the best Mario Kart game. My heart and soul will still be linked to Double Dash, and I'll still appreciate Wii's roster, but um, like in it's indisputable. It is the best selling Switch game for a reason. <laughs> and I have no idea how they're gonna top it. Also, when, when they announced that there were four new characters that they were adding, I was we were all wondering how they were going to fit them on the character selection. Are we going to get even more characters? Is it going to be even more DLC? Uh, what they wound up doing is they put the two Inklings and the two Villagers into a single character slot. So that's how they made room for, for Diddy, Funky, Pauline, and Peachette. Because originally there were only two spots left on the character select screen. Screen, excuse me. I'm pretty sure, like, in Mario Kart 8, uh, the villagers did originally share uh, a character icon on the character select screen, but then in 8 Deluxe, they separated them because I was just like, oh, we want to make it seem more fancy. We got so many characters to play as. But then they went back to fusing them together, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny. Yeah, Rosalina's Ice World. That was a that was another one of my favorite tracks from Seven. So I'm very happy to see that one coming back. Also, just a really unique concept. Ooh. Also, get prepared for the Rosalina Elsa comparisons once again. <laughs> They're gonna be making a comeback. Nice. Hoping that left pin would go flying a bit more, but it's fine. I'm so excited for DK Mountain. It's so good. Because back in the day, like, it wasn't about who uh, reached the finish line first. It was about who made it into the cannon first. It was like a super intense race right from the beginning. And then seeing your character, like, hold on for dear life on the back of the car, just struggling. 
and you get blasted up to the top of the volcano and then you go down the mountain it's so cool it's so sick and cool I usually don't have a main with Mario Kart. Um, I usually just like switching around to a whole bunch of different characters. Uh, but for 8 Deluxe, for the majority of it, I played as the pink inkling girl character, which was interesting. Even though they added King Boo, I was just like, eh, inkling. I was just like, what the fruit? But yeah, now recently I'm more so spend time with King Boo, Dry Bowser, Dry Bones, Shy Guy. I always start with Koopa, because Koopa and Paratrooper are my mains in Double Dash. Oh yeah, that's why Double Dash is better than uh, 8 Deluxe, because 8 Deluxe doesn't have Paratrooper. How dare it? Oh, one other thing they're adding. Um, like, this would have been perfect for them to add Paratrooper, just like an alternate skin for Koopa, because... Um, if they're merging some character icons and stuff. But, whatever. It's just nitpicking at this point. Uh, they're adding more Mii costumes for, uh, more tracksuits for the Mii racers, which is interesting. I wonder if they'll just be freebies, or if you have to actually unlock them with the amiibo. Because, like, the majority of them don't have amiibo for you to scan in order to unlock them. There's just, like, a pokey outfit or a chain chomp outfit, a cheap cheap outfit. I think the only one that's based off of an amiibo is Daisy, so you might need the Daisy amiibo to unlock that. But that's something I've been uh, working towards is um, I remembered that the, the recent releases of amiibo don't have the little silver piece of paper they put in between the base and the box to make it so people can't scan stuff in, in stores and whatnot. Uh, they stopped doing that because nobody cares <laughs> anymore about the amiibo features. People just buy them because it's a cool figure. Objection! Yes, I know, Nightshade, don't say it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've been unlocking some of the Mii uh, track suits, which I have been very excited about, because there are a lot of cool ones in there. Like, there's a Captain Falcon one, so you can feel like you're actually playing as Captain Falcon. And on the FZR uh, race tracks, which is cool. There's a Pac-Man one, which looks super cool. It has, like, a neon uh, helmet that has the Pac-Man, like, chomping up and down, which looks really cool. There's a Kirby one that has, like, Kirby as a helmet, so it just looks like actual Kirby is sitting on top of the Mii's head and just, like, looking backwards. <laughs> He's like, what do you want about? Nothing, nothing, don't worry about it. I just said objection, and I was worried that I was going to remind you that I haven't streamed something. But don't worry, I didn't. You, you, you don't know what I'm talking about, so let's just not even think about it. It's fine. I know, it's so weird. We got two F-Zero tracks, but not Captain Falcon as an actual racer. I was, I was expecting that for the final one, because, like, the bottom row is all, uh, oh, I've given up. <laughs> My god, Nightshade. No faith. So heartbreaking. It'll happen eventually, I promise. <laughs> but, yeah, they, I was, we were speculating as to, like, what the final characters would be in, like, the final row on the character select screen is all third, uh, non-Mario characters. Uh, so it would have been perfect to have Captain Falcon there, or maybe Kirby using Kirby Air Ride Machines or whatever, or Ditto doing the dance, welcome to the stream, Gavin. Also, everyone, if you haven't seen Gavin's super cool, awesome video that he just made, go check it out. It's a compilation of every single event in all of Pokemon, and I made the mistake of leaving a comment saying, um, how I wish I could experience these events again, but sad that Nintendo doesn't allow it anymore. And now I'm just destined to get a bunch of replies being like, um, actually, if you hack the game or download this fan-made server, you could go and access them without Nintendo's permission. I was just like, I meant officially. But anyway, <laughs> it's fine. But yeah, check out, check out the video. It's all, no, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it's the internet. It's destined to happen. Also, that throw was horrible. <laughs> That's a better throw. Infinite sauce mayo. Excellent. Wait, was there someone who said their name was Infinite Sauce Mayo? No, no one's no one's being mean in, in the comments. It's just it was just funny. Cause I started getting replies like that. It's like how I get replies every day on my Pikmin video when I made the joke about a colon being a dot on top of a dot. And 
to this day, I get comments, people saying, Wow, it's so funny, this person doesn't know what a colon is. Can you not believe it? That's a colon. Why are you saying dot on top of dot? This makes sense. What's a colon? What's a colon? I'm like, yes, I know what a colon is. Thank you for your infinite wisdom. YouTube comments. Who cannot read sarcasm through text. <laughs> it's very difficult. Oh, uh, well. It's fine. But yeah, check out the video. It's a cool video. Also, uh, another video that would make me uh, smile if you checked out. The Walking Dead video I made. I know Walking Dead's not super popular on my channel. I'm a very weird channel. I go back and forth between like, Happy Fun Times, Pokemon, Kirby, yay. Walking Dead, Mario, Zelda, yeah. Uh, some other M-rated story heavy game that is about sadness and depression and death or something. <laughs> so yeah. But... Uh, the statue video, if you're worried about spoilers, there are no spoilers for the Walking Dead series in that video. If you're worried about it being too, uh, violent for your liking, it is an E-rated video. There's no M-rated footage or content in within the video itself. So, yeah, it's just a video talking about, uh, some cool merchandise and the very insane and four-year-long journey it took to obtain the merchandise. <laughs> so it would make me happy if you checked it out. And then also going up today, I know no one's going to watch this, but I went ahead and recorded the entirety of the character viewer and all of the art gallery in the definitive edition compilation disc of The Walking Dead. It's a very complicated name. It's called The Walking Dead, the Telltale Definitive Series, which comes with the collector's edition, which has three different versions, the Guardian pack, the Signature pack, and the whatever the fruit the other one pack was. So that's confusing, but... Uh, that, that video is four and a half hours long because it's just me going through all the different character animations and voice lines that are in that game. There's some funny ones in there, and I guess just for people to go take a trip down memory lane. That video is rated M for Mature because a lot of dirty wordies. Um, but then also, uh, spoilers of uh, plenty are in there because obviously there'll be spoilers if they're voice lines from the game. <laughs> And I actually have a, a spooky story involving that. When I put that disc into, into my PS5, it said that I already had four hours of playtime on this game. And I know for a fact I never played it. Like, I played all the Walking Dead games on their original release on PS3 and PS4 digital, digitally. I never... I bought the physical version because I wanted to have the games physically and all on one disc, but I don't remember I never actually played the game and if I had it wouldn't just be four hours so then I went ahead and recorded the character viewer and that also turned out to be four hours so there's a chance I recorded the character viewer in the past and I just never uploaded it either something went wrong with the recording or I never uploaded it for some reason I tried looking around to see where that footage would be but it's just gone, so I went through it twice, apparently. Which is awkward. It's like that uh, issue I've had in the past where I've recorded the uh, challenge mode for Pikmin 1 multiple times in the past when I uh, completely forgot that I had already done it. I was like, oh, this would be a fun bonus video to go back to one day is to do the challenge mode for Pikmin 1 with the time trials. And it turns out I already did that, so um, I don't need to keep opening it up like that. YouTube comments are a mistake. Remember when I made a video showing showing you could go out of bounds in Wind Waker? I didn't know the uh and I didn't know what the word collision was. I got so many comments about it, like I I know what it is now, please stop telling me about it. Yeah, that's another thing, like it'd be nice if commenters could just scroll down for a second to see if other people have already left the same comment to uh, decide whether or not they need to be the one to tell it. And like, I've been guilty of this too, either leaving a comment that someone else has already left or sometimes when I leave a comment, be like, fun fact about this thing uh, later on in the game or a secret you might've missed. If you just watch the entire video, you might see that they actually do the thing that you wanted them to do. <laughs> but if you don't watch the video. But then like recently I got a comment on my To The Moon Let's Play of uh, and I got a very vague comment that just said, Oh, you missed the thing. They said you missed it. You didn't pick it up. 
and I was just like, what is it? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're, I didn't know what they were referring to, and they didn't leave a timestamp as to what it was that I didn't pick up, so that would require me to just watch the entire episode again, just, just to try and sleuth out what they were referring to. But it's fine. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm, as my dry bread says. Had your best game ever last round, lost in the first round in this game. Curse you switch sports, it do be like that sometimes. Speaking of which, I lose! Nice Unrelated notes, but Rune Factory 5 is going places. The only Rune Factories I played are, like, the only ones I own are the two on the Wii. And I played a little bit of Tides of Destiny, but I did not get far at all. What do we got? We got a bow! A cool ribbon. I hate YouTube comments, but I also love them because they call, they can be funny and neat, but at worst, the most annoying things in general. My favorite comments I get are ones that are just furry with no other words. Like, it's just, are you being mean to me or are you just posting because that's what I am? I get so confused. It's a mystery till the end of time. Tides of Destiny is very black sheep, okay. Very different from the rest of the series. How convenient for me to have picked that one. I just saw the photo you sent me, Jenny. You got a B minus. You're doing great. Hopefully, we'll get paired up this time. Oh, you didn't know there was a jump button in that game? That's interesting. It's like I went through the entirety of Legends Arceus without knowing there was a run button in that game. I thought the default speed was running, then you could run fast by riding your goat. But now they want you to click the control stick in, which I will still say is the worst uh, controller design choice until the end of time. Control stick should be for controlling with the stick. You don't press the stick in. Ugh. You got enough buttons already. Don't make me click the control stick to do a thing. Round one. How is it already? We're 50 minutes into the stream. What? This went by way too quickly. And now we're stuck in loading. Okay, thank you. I'll wait a second to get the proper lineup for the shot. Just give me a second. Oi, that's rough. You see, I got one of them. Just did a poop. Oy, 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 oy. Hey, don't you know Halloween's over? You gotta get the new outfit. Maybe they're just rocking the Nightmare Before Christmas look, which I guess I can watch that now since it's officially past Halloween. Oh yeah, something I did while I was recording the Walking Dead uh, video, I... I watched the entirety of Scary Godmother 1 and 2 on my phone, just because I was like going back and forth whether or, not, whether or not I wanted to do it this year, and I had that on my phone in the background, and I just don't remember it. Because I get it, like, I had other audio that I was listening to at the time, which is just so weird. Like, I watched it this year, but I vaguely, only vaguely acknowledged it, so it's just very odd to me. That's a perfect strike right there. When we get this layout, little curve, the slipping and sliding. Did 
feel like the construction people might be revving up to work again soon, so we might not be allowed to do a two-hour stream. As soon as I hear a hammer, we're piecing out. Because I'd rather have a shorter stream than a bad stream. Also, that person had just a Switch Sports shirt? What? Is that part of a catalog we don't have yet? Or did I forget about it? I'll have to look that up. Oh, you know, yeah, it's a neon blue bowling shirt. Maybe I do have it. I don't know. Or is that the thing we got last week? I just don't remember it because it's so recent. Might be. Well, we're getting a lot of first time chats today. Uh, welcome to the stream, Noah. Hope you're doing well. If you're able to uh, get into the bowling game, then sure, I'm just more so trying to unlock uh, outfits and stuff right now as opposed to like doing one on one challenges. But yeah, I'd love to have you join us if you could manage to get in the same time as me. I'm also trying to mainly stick to bowling because I like bowling. I mean, I challenge you to say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious-unironically in the next Banner Buddies. Okay, I'll, 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 tr I'll try that if you, if you remind me privately so that it's a surprise. I have, what is this person doing? <laughs> they, did they step away? Oh, my bowling ball exploded and burst into flames. Okay. I feel like it wouldn't be too unexpected for me to say that though. So I might not get the reaction you're expecting. You don't think I'm feeling it? I uh, know I'm, I'm excited. I'm really feeling it. I'll, I'll say this. I'll say the word. I'm sorry I, I'm, if I, I'll have a better reaction next time. I'll do it. Anything anything to make you smile I'm Gonna have it done have a nice day. Thank you so much. Have a nice day to you as well Nice, okay good You're doing good speaking of nice <laughs> My little wind up. Whoa, the ball just appeared out of nowhere on the side. Don't make me smile if it's at the expense of your own comfort. Uh, I mean. It's fine. I could say super cow fragilistic espialidocious whenever you want. I got no problem with it. I could even spell super cow fragilistic espialidocious because I know how to do that. <laughs> There's also a thing. <laughs> I, you know, the Nations of the World video from Animaniacs United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru. Um, part of me wanted to see if I can make a version of that. That just recites the Idol Master cast. <laughs> There's Mirai and she's a gun, Subasa, Kotoha, Kawari and Sumugi too, or something like that. I don't know. Just because I was watching the Million Live anime and they just rapid fire with the introductions because there's too many characters. And ironically, last week's episode was about how they have too many ideas for an event that they want to pull off but not enough time to actually execute them properly. And the show only has 12 episodes and has 39 characters. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I just thought it'd be funny if I did that. You don't like bowling online in this game because it's like, uh, if you don't do an almost perfect game, then you get bumped out so fast. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier in a previous bowling stream. That's why I kind of prefer the gimmick. Uh, lanes whenever you get them because people are less likely to get perfects so you can survive a lot longer but absolutely I agree with the um with the regular lanes if you don't do perfect then like you're getting kicked out because there's like an 11 way tie for first place usually but in terms of what I'm trying to accomplish it's fine because we're just trying to get points to unlock the clothing so it all works out Volleyball's fun. It's just the like, my issue with volleyball is it's so reliant on 
the partner. You can't play it solo. So I kind of have to rely on the partner to just do well if I want to make it to S rank. The only games I've gotten S rank in so far are bowling and tennis. And with volleyball, I have to rely on partners. Soccer, I have to rely on partners. And the stamina meter is annoying. Uh, Shambara is exhausting. Badminton's exhausting. And golf is long and exhausting. <laughs> You're A22 on it. Good job. Oh, yeah, it was A rank for the, for the outfits, not S. So thankfully, I don't have to get that. Maybe someday, though. But consider I've been playing Switch Sports for an entire year and I only got gold in uh, uh, bowling and bowling and tennis. It may not be the easiest thing to pull off. I do hope Switch Sports takes over as the third most played Switch game on my console before the stream series is finished. Right now it's the fourth. But soon it'll be Pokemon Shield. I will be right in the world. <laughs> Yeah, I missed the boat a little bit. I got it in December, so that's why we're doing this series. Because I need to catch up on some of the cards that I had missed. So we're going to be doing this once a week, every week, until the first week of December, which I believe will be the final stream. Boxing would be great. I've been wanting them to add baseball. I also wanted them to add a walking simulator where you could just walk around the sports venue as your character. Because there's so many pretty locations, but you can't actually interact with any of them. You can drag to do Final Fantasy XIV online things. Or 14x... 14? 14? 14. I'll see you around later, baby! Oh, it said bye. I thought it said baby. I'm sorry! <laughs> but I'll see you later, Gavin. Thanks for stopping by. Have, have, have fun. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> I guess. Oi. Hope you have a, a splendiferous day. Oi vey. So you'll be done right when Atlas releases the trailer for Persona 3 Reload's last party member. That's another thing. Oh my god. There's a part of me that's like... What if I stream Persona 3 in one sitting? <laughs> I'm just like, no, don't do it. Don't do it, you fool. But what if? Well, actually, has Atlas released their guidelines on are we even allowed to stream it when it releases? Are they going to start taking stuff down? Because it's like, oh, you can't have spoilers for a 20-year-old game. And, like, I get the notion. I appreciate it when, like, like, right now I'm trying to be cautious about Mario RPG spoilers and Thousand Year Door spoilers because there are a bunch of people who are finally going to be able to play it for the first time. And, like, it's back in the modern release era. So, you should be courteous of those things, even if it came out a gajillion years ago. But, when the official company is going as far as to take down videos and destroy channels because people are spoiling stuff, that's annoying. And I would prefer they didn't do that. They'll do that on January 30th. God darn it. Of course they will. I still want to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal someday. And, like, I don't think they've... They've changed their guidelines for that. But I'm still gonna attempt it. Cause like Idol Master also had guidelines, I'm pretty sure, where like you weren't allowed to stream anything within August, December, or yeah, you can do stuff after August. It's weird. You can't do it. You can't stream any content within August in the game, December in the game, any of the DLC, and you couldn't show any footage with the DLC outfits being worn. But all of my videos have been fine. Maybe because they're an American, it's on an American channel, so it hasn't been picked up on their uh, radar. I don't know. Also, I somehow got away with showing screenshots of four hour, like four hours worth of screenshots of their two recent concerts, which I know is a big no-no, and I apologize for that yes. if that bothered or upset anyone. But considering I'm like not going out my way to advertise as being like, look at all this footage I have, this free footage of the concert that you had to pay for, like. It was more so just for me and my audience, so hopefully it's not too bad. I know I'm not the best at justifying it, but it's it's not something I'm never gonna do again. So it was just for like that the end of that Idol Master streaming era. So I just head on the Nintendo Switch Sports category on Twitch to find people streaming it and then begging them really bad to play together. That's fine. I appreciate you finding me, and like it just goes to show that the tags do work, and I I like getting to meet new people. 
I hope we can get paired up. It's just that I'm just trying my best to unlock some outfits. We got Hungry Dragon. <laughs> okay. There's a Hungry Dragon here with us. <laughs> Random question, but I'm actually about to play the first Earthbound game for the first time. Have any tips or advice I should know? Um. <laughs> uh, I mean this in the nicest way possible. Consider playing it not on the switch i guess is the nicest way to put it there are two major issues with the official version one is that the official translation is uh not very faithful to itoi's writing style and his personality and like the original vision of mother one so um I, that's why i would recommend you check out the tomato translation of earthbound zero is what they call it uh, which you can find on the same site you can find the mother three translation uh, it'll be under the Mother 1 plus 2 translation. That's where you're going to find that. Uh, the second reason why I would recommend playing the fan translation instead of the official version is because Mother 1 hard. Mother 1 is one of the most unfairly difficult games I've ever played. It is a rough, 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 bow wow, bad to the bone RPG. <laughs> it is stinking rough. And Tomato went out of his way to include what is called an easy ring, or as I like to call it, the playable ring. It makes it so you get it right in the first room, right when you start the game. Oh, Jenny's here, hello. Uh, you get it right here when you start the game. And it makes it so the game is playable because you have less enemy encounters and you get more experience and more money. So things are just balanced properly. I would also just recommend like, Hopefully you've already played Earthbound and Mother 3. You don't really need to play Mother 1 to understand the story of Earthbound and Mother 3. It is nice to have like a little extra context, a little extra bit of history, but it's not needed. Also, I absolutely should have gotten a strike on that. Um, But you don't really need to is the thing. Yeah, Earthbound Beginnings, aka Earthbound Zero, aka Mother 1. I would say play Earthbound first, then Mother 3, then if you want a history lesson and you don't mind it being insanely difficult, play Mother 1. If you absolutely want to play it, no questions asked, on official hardware, use save states every five seconds. I will say that, like, use it unapologetically because that game is very cruel. But I would very much heavily advise you to look into playing the fan translation because not only is it a lot more faithful to the original script of the Japanese version, and a lot funnier and just like a lot more tightly written it also has that easy ring that just changes the entire experience and makes it actually enjoyable to play so that's my advice also i hear knocking so uh this will probably be our last game before i head out because uh don't want to have a bunch of construction noises Recently wanted so bad to play Punch Out on my Wii, and then found out that I don't have any good a good adapter, so I bought one for your TV. Are you talking about the adapter? Are you talking about the sensor bar? Or adapter isn't like an HDMI cable. I had a friend who like he had a broken sensor bar, and he just refused to get a new one. So, like he's the one who I discovered the trick where if you just hold a candle or like a a flame, if you light a match or something. Um, and then point the Wii Remote towards it. The Wii Remote thinks the candle is the sensor bar, so you could somewhat work your Nintendo Wii <laughs> in that way, which is insane. I don't know how he discovered that, but that was an actual thing you could do. Just hold, like, a candle near the sensor bar, and it'll actually um, pick it up as the sensor bar, which is so bizarre. I don't know how that works. Like, the infrared sensor scanner, the heat-detecting, heat-motion sensor technology thingamahoozy of the future wait jenny is that not you I, I thought i saw you on the on this team already i saw a character that had like the same character design that you showed me what's your character's name i thought i saw you or maybe it was someone else Okay, it was somebody else then, okay. Perhaps next time. I mean, they haven't 
overly gotten into hammering stuff yet, so maybe we could continue. Maybe, possibly. Oh no. Let me see how far we in, we are into this bingo card, and then I'll make the, the executive decision. Because we've been doing good, I think. So we should be almost done with it. Also, we're doing the normal lanes, so uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Nice strike, though. Yeah, nice flash, though. Ham is the funniest stinking character. I was watching the Toy Story movies again, and just Ham is so stinking hilarious. He just doesn't care about any anything that's going on within the plot. Like, they're driving the stinking car, trying to chase Woody to the airport. And then Ham's just reading the car manual, being like, Oh, I seriously know he's getting this kind of mileage. <laughs> it's so good. And my favorite thing is when he's, like, going through the channels quickly, trying to find the Al's Toy Barn commercial. So they could get the address. He's just zipping through them and Rex is like, it's going too fast. How do you even know what's on? I could tell. <laughs> it's just like, that's such a mood. Cause I would do that as a kid. Like I had the channels that I would go to and I would just like zip to them super quick just to see what was on. And then like, I could know within a frame of a second, like uh, whether or not I wanted to stay on that channel or if I wanted to pass over to something else. And he would just be like, I could tell. <laughs> and then he passes the channel. He's like, no, nah, too late. I'm in the forties. Gotta go back around. It's faster. <laughs> It's so singing good. Ham is the people's people. <laughs> there we go. We still got the the blue dragon here with us, I see. to the left, unfortunately. Probably gonna get kicked out this round. It's fine, though. That was horrible. Okay. <laughs> I doubt that one point was gonna save us. way too stinking fast like we didn't have a bunch of deep conversations this time i feel like as opposed to the previous streams it was just like well we're bowling now we're just going along yeah, nobody could defeat the blue dragon kicked out now I lose yay Finish. see ya objection one day I promise god darn it we're so close to s rank I'm so excited please I want to get s rank before the stream series ends that's one thing that like I really single want to do just for funsies even though we don't get anything from it Whoopsie, angel, whoopsie, doopsie, whoop. Never doing that again. You played for an hour straight. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Our new outfits. We got some cool paint. Uh, yeah, this is the outfit we got uh, last stream. Okay. Got a cool cap. Cool ribbon. We got Mr. Chris's beard. Sort of. We got Whoopsie Angel, Panicking Demon. <laughs> and we got ourselves a cool swad. Now, how many things are left? Uh, we got one, two, three, four. 
So the thing is, though, we're at 62. Mm, it's gonna take another hour, though. I've learned my lesson. What do you think, folks? Should we go with it? Should we continue until the construction happens, or should we just call it here for safety? If we call it here, then I'm just gonna get these things off screen. We're gonna get the thick-rimmed glasses, pink edition. Neon toys for the soccer gear for celebration confetti. Human summit, tower pyramid, and hideout cafe ideal style. I could do ideal master instead of idol master because there's no idol uh, title in this game. That's sort of what I wanted. And then the cool outfit. See how bad it gets? Let's see how bad it gets. <laughs> Let's go out with a bang. As long as you're here to keep me company, then we'll, we'll continue on. And then Jenny's just like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I thought you were done. I'm going to get the bowling. Wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry for not giving a heads up. Oh. Eternal sauce brick. <laughs> what? I'm hearing the noise as soon as I did it. God darn it. Biting off more than we could chew. I know. I'm not having idle as a title. We need to speak to the manager. We need more. We need another update to this game just so we can get the idle title. The contestant. Boop, 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 boop. Round one. Just burying my phone doing my dailies in a mobile game. Yeah, we're probably gonna end it after this one no matter what because the hammers are starting to hammer. Oh yeah, they, they didn't like that. They were they had a one hour lunch break. Why couldn't they be why couldn't they be this efficient with my maintenance request? Why are they gonna come back in just for this? Oh jeez. It should count as a strike, but it doesn't. Maybe we'll get kicked out of our we're close to S rank. I don't wanna lose in the first round. Oh, yeah. I gotta start coming up with some fall outfits. Or maybe just continue to wear whatever the fruit I want. We got the soccer head character, which is a very fun one. I believe there's only one more uh character head costume transformation that we haven't gotten yet and i'm looking forward to when we do find it because it's a very fun one no this is a rough one rough for everyone else then oh that was bad that was bad that was bad oh, no, not that bad Zlu is back in this one back at it again back in first place as well toilet swag what <laughs> I can't these stinking names might be a bit too far don't risk it yeah poopy good enough to pass maybe toilet swags in first place tied with zlu can't believe we're losing oh now we're out god darn it so we lost our rank, we lost our sanity. We should have ended on a high note. 
There's the lesson of the day, kids. Don't overachieve. <laughs> no, we need a good lesson. We've been having a lot of good lessons in all these streams. The lesson of the day is... Take a break. <laughs> no one's here to congratulate me for ninth place. Oh, we only got a little, little nubbin taking now. Okay, that's fine. And perfect. Our last one for the day is the confetti. Hooray. So I'll go ahead and get the other ones uh, next time or off camera. And then we'll have ourselves a merry little Christmas or something. Also, I got to apologize to all of you. I've done something quite scandalous. I usually abide by the rules, even though all the corporations refuse to abide by the rules. I tried to do so, but I failed this year, and I'm sorry. I bought eggnog, and it isn't December yet. I know, unforgivable. I'm a terrible person. It's like buying Halloween Oreos in September. You just can't do it. I, I stopped myself from doing that, at least, but how dare I? How dare? How dare it? So, yeah, I'm gonna send y'all somewhere. I already have Christmas decor up, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be enjoying some eggnog, finally. Uh, what is the raid message? And also, who are we raiding? Raid message. Eggnog season. So scandalous, I know. Unforgivable. I'll try to think of ways to apologize when we meet up next week for Nintendo Switch Sports. Uh, we got, I'll send you, I already rated both of these people during our time with this game, but no reason why we can't do it again, so I'm going to send you to a Little Karibo, who's playing Phasmophobia, and yeah, I guess we're going to be uh, wrapping it up early today. Thank you all so much for watching, hope you have a good November, we're in the home stretch of the year. Keep on doing your best, and uh, let's end this year on a high note. And let's enjoy the holiday season as it approaches. We've only got four more bowling streams ahead of us, so let's make them enjoyable. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later for more Nintendo Switch Sports. Good night.